Hello and welcome to the next video in our series. In this video, we will walk you through how to change both the bundle identifier and display name of your app. These settings are crucial for publishing your app on Google Play and App Store. These are also important for configuring Firebase and Deep LinkedIn. Why setting the bundle identifier is important? The bundle identifier is a globally unique ID that identifies your app across platforms. It is essential for several key reasons. Three of the main reasons are as follow. Google Play Store. The bundle identifier acts as your app's fingerprint on Google Play. It ensures that the Play Store recognizes your app as unique. You cannot change the bundle identifier once the app is published, so it is critical to set the bundle identifier correctly before the release. For Firebase configurations, Firebase uses the bundle identifier to link your app with services like analytics, push notification, and authentications. A mismatched bundle identifier will cause Firebase to fail in recognizing your app. Deep linking. A consistent bundle identifier is essential for deep linking, which ensures users are redirected to correct app when interacting with links. Now that we know why it is important, let's move on how to set up your bundle identifier. First, look into the Android setup. You will need to update the bundle identifier in two places, in build.gradle and androidmanifest.xml. Let's change application ID or bundle identifier in build.gradle. Expand the Android folder here and expand the app folder here. Then click on build.gradle here. Scroll down here and find the namespace here. Let's change it to something uh, that we would like to use in this project. For this uh, project, we are going to use Aqua Inmuables. We also need to change application ID here. So let's simply copy this namespace and paste against application ID. You can also update your version code and version name. Version code is for internal identification of the build and version name is for the public display. This version name is shown to the users when they download your app on Google Play. Now open Android manifest from here. Expand your source folder and then main folder and then you should find androidmanifest.xml here and then you should find the package declaration in the manifest attribute here. Head back to build.gradle and copy the application ID from here and paste against the package attribute here. Now since we have updated the package identifier here, we also need to update the package hierarchy in the application source code as well. In this case, we will simply need to update this Housy uh, folder here. Simply right click on it and refactor and rename. If you also change the prefix and postfix of the uh, identifier, you will also need to update com and postfix app here as well. Now, since the package hierarchy has changed, the classes in the package also need to update their package declaration as well. So open these files one by one and update the package declaration as well. Notice this notification service extension. This extension belongs to one signal push notification service. We also need to update the notification service meta tag in Android manifest.xml here. Open Android manifest XML and scroll down and find the one signal meta tag declaration here. Keep in mind to not change this attribute here, but to update this value here. This tells the underlying one signal library to find the service extension class at this path. Now the next step is changing the app display name. By default, the display name of the app is set to Housey, but you can customize this to fit your brand. In the Android manifest.xml, find the application tab. 
and then find the Android label attribute here. Let's change it to Equa Immobiles. And we are all done for Android project. Now let's change the package identifier and display name in iOS project. Expand the iOS folder here and expand the runner here and open app delegate file here. You should see open iOS macOS module in Xcode option here. In the Xcode window, click on project name runner here and click on signing and capabilities here and then find the bundle identified field here. Enter your unique identifier in this field. For testing your app on real device or publishing your app to App Store, you need to buy the Apple developer membership and login into the Xcode. You need to also select the team here. Once selected, it will sync your bundle identifier with Apple Developer Portal and download the signing profiles. We also need to update the app groups because this app group allows to uh, share resources between your app and one signal notification extension here. So let's add a new app group prefixed with uh, your unique identifier. Delete the existing housey.app.1signal group. After updating the bundle identifier and app group and then selecting the correct team, it will sync with the Apple developer portal and download your provisioning profiles. We have successfully set up the bundle identifier for the application target. We also need to update the one signal notification service extension bundle identifier here. Click on it and you should find the bundle identifier in signing and capabilities here and update the prefix with your chosen bundle identifier here. You can keep the one signal notification service extension as it is. After updating, switch to the correct team from here so it automatically syncs with Apple developer portal using correct bundle identifier. Here it is complaining that group.com.housey.app.1signal is not available. Because we already have two groups here, we need to uncheck the old one signal group and mark check the newly created app group for this application. And then the next step is to change the app's display name for iOS. As we already know, the default display name for the app is set to Housey and you can change it to your own brand. In the Xcode, click on Runner here and go to the target here and find the general tab here. And there is a display name field in the identity section here and you can update it to your own app name. And then that's how you change both the bundle identifier and display name for your housey based application. Setting the correct bundle identifier ensures smooth integration with Firebase, push notification and app store publishings. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next tutorial.